All right. You guys ready to put a ribbon on this show or what? How many of you have been fans of the show for a long time? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the man with the record for the most appearances all time on the show, the most interviews all time on the show. The one, the only, the Memphis Strangler, the Vanilla Gorilla, the Sarsaparilla Thrilla in Manila, the Big Red Machine, William Montgomery, everybody. I actually have some very exciting news. I've started a church. The good news is gay people are allowed. The bad news, they got to tie 25%. <laughs> Isn't it weird how every time I Google search Ron Paul, a SWAT team hog ties me and FedExes me to Guantanamo Bay? <laughs> Three buddies went to check into a La Quinta Inn in Nashville this past week and ended up managing the hotel for hours after they discovered no one was working there. I actually have a confession. I was actually selling the employee Xanax bars out of room 217 and they all blacked out. I ain't ever gonna stop selling Xanax bars out of room 217. It has come out that comedian Hassan Minaj has been lying about being the victim of racism for years to remain relevant. From a white girl dumping him in high school to people sending him anthrax. Now I'm starting to question whether he was actually raped by Russell Brand. Okay, that's my time. Thank you. One minute, nine seconds for the veteran of not only the show, but obviously the Civil War, William Montgomery. <laughs> Absolutely incredible, you did it again. Love the joke at the end, making fun of two comedians at once. Jamar and I started stand-up with Hassan Minaj. Do you remember that? Yeah, he used to pull up at Marty's and shit. Marty's is a... Um... Yeah, it was barely a comedy club. It was really some dude's like living room that really wanted, I don't know, what do you think, he inherited money or something like that? All I know is he raped bitches on that couch, and that wasn't good. He did? <laughs> Marty? Probably. probably. He remember Hassan Minaj. I paid $5 to get raped on that couch. Yeah, I was there. I watched it. I jacked off to it on everything. <laughs> I remember Hassan Minaj. What do you remember about Hassan Minaj, though? I'm curious. No, 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 he... real shit, like... Hey, yo, he was a hard worker. He did pull up with new jokes every time and shit like that. That's all I fucking remember. Uh, but he was a hard worker, so I'm fucked up about you shitting on him. Well, you're going to have to deal with that. And I... I'm so sorry, Tony. I'm so sorry. Don't ever the saddest part is that we can clearly hear the microphone dropping. <laughs> Uh, and I have to, I just want to say something, though. Red Band, I know today is like your Christmas. It's National Cheeseburger Day. So. Oh, wow. Look at that. Unbelievable. <laughs> Eat it, bitch! <laughs> Not a damn chance. Wow. Red Band using an inside, inside reference. <laughs> Shout out to Not a Damn Chance Burgers, one of our local favorites here in Austin, Texas. <laughs> I actually... Even though the owner keeps inviting my friends that visit from New York in LA to have to go to the place instead of bringing them here. It drives me absolutely crazy, but he does it. Shout out to Philip, everybody. He's here tonight. Yeah, this is Phillip. the kind of power I possess, is to make my friends feel awkward about doing shit that annoys me on a show. <laughs> yeah, card I use rarely, but when I do, very effective. Not a damn chance burgers is the literally one of the best burgers uh, in the world. Has Wonderful. to be. He's won uh, multiple Michelin stars. Um, some of the if best he gave sushi. Michelin stars in Austin, I think he would win one here. But you know what I found out? They don't do that. It's only in New York and L.A. Isn't that right, Philip? Oh, okay. More than those two, but not here. How about a hand for my friend Philip? Literally one of the best chefs <laughs> on planet Earth. Sushi by scratch. Restaurants. Uh, best uh, sushi in the world. It's the best sushi in the world and literally the best. The burgers are so good that I think they're fucking too good and I and I sleep I sleep deeply after the burgers. They literally I can't I can't work after eating one of his burgers, so I have to eat it at the end of the night. Tony, I actually you brought up Marty's. When I moved to LA, I was doing the open mics at Marty's and I remember one night I was high as fuck on cocaine and I think Bud Ices and I held my breath in that place for two and a half fucking minutes. 
Yeah, that's just what I remember about Marty's. I held my breath two and a half minutes, sir. Well, I also remember you from the movie Scary Movies with the little hands. The nigga with the little hands. Trying to, trying to. Because of my little hands. <laughs> Is there anything you want to say to Jamar after what he just said to you, William? No, nah, I have to hold my tongue right now. I mean, I have to. No, hold. man, because I got another one lined up, so it may be a good re uh, response to yours. <laughs> Jamar, uh... <laughs> roast god William Montgomery yeah. loading up right now, famous for his incredible roast skills. Oh, shit, there's the corpse of John Benet Ramsey taking a pee break right oh, now. Shit. I fucked, I fucked yeah. her. I better be nice. She Put is. a bra on, bitch. Holy yeah. shit, I saw your titty. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Yikes. Indeed. Wearing Keep your bitch in check, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> Tell her has to put a bra on, dude. What the fuck? That is true. And you should probably put one on as well, sir. Uh, <laughs> incredible. William, what else is going on this week? Tell us about your actual life. Oh, man, what? Why are you already fucking laughing, you fucking idiot? Oh, I haven't shit. even He's said mad anything. At, who appears to be white Spike Lee <laughs> sitting in the front row here. Spike your drink, Lee. <laughs> William, what about you? What about your life? You just acknowledged a random person in the front row when I asked about you. Uh, Tony, I'm super excited about the end of the week. I'm finally going to the water park in between here and San Antonio. What is that place called? I can't. There's a Schlitterbahn. Finally going to Schlitterbahn. Uh, 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 but, but you're cancer. Like, like, aren't you not supposed to be in the sun? Red Band that, bringing or? up skin yeah, cancer. Yeah, bringing up Here we go. skin cancer. Comedy Lord Red Band bringing up Williams. <laughs> I actually skin have cancer. to. I have to go back to the dermatologist. I think I have fucking skin cancer now, right by my nose. Uh, why are you laughing, you fucking idiot? I'm not even kidding. Will so he? I hope I look really cool with a big scar on my face because I'm about to have a big scar when they have to remove it. So I've been dealing with that, Tony. I mean, I'm trying to have fun. I'm trying to have a really good time at Schlitterbahn at the end of the week. But all I can think Kim about. Kim Congdon. I think you have comedy cancer. Whoa. Wait, wow. that's a good thing, Kim right? taking a shot care. at one of the most beloved characters in the history of the show. Uh, this is incredible. This is the moment we've all been waiting that's for. Scary. William eyeballing her, looking her up and down. Anything can happen right now. I think you got cancer in your butt, bitch. Oh! What do you mean I can't roast people, Tony? <laughs> And Jamar, I think you have cancer all over your skin, dude. What's Whoa. going on? <laughs> William wow. Montgomery beard is red because uh, he combed it with the comb he killed a prostitute with. Okay. I'm going to go pee my again, guess, Tony. My guests are done for the night. Uh, <laughs> your job here is done. <laughs> you know, I've been hearing, though, uh, on the road with you, Tony, that uh, William's just been destroying every single one of your shows, though. Like, he's been, like, yeah. killing it. Yeah, he's... Yeah, he's it's one been of the a pleasure. top young it's rising wonderful. comedians in the world. We wouldn't have it any other way. No you other look way. like it retired. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at the wheels turning over here. Uh, oh my. You like George Washington toilet. Oh, Jamar. I'm gonna go take a George sheet, Washington's okay. toilet. <laughs> oh my God, all right. William, tell us a little bit more before we get out of here. Let's put a ribbon on this. Tell us something that you're passionate about this week. Well, I did bring uh, our sweet little dog here tonight. I've been really passionate about her. I've been Whoa. getting on uh, Reddit a bunch recently. I haven't been on the Kill Tony one in about two months because of all the fucking faggots on that. But Whoa. other than that... I have been uh, looking at a bunch of the Watch People Die subreddit. Man, I saw the worst one last night of these two pit bulls literally eating this man alive over in England somewhere. And you see all the other old people just kind of standing around trying to kick at the dog. But this guy's eating, getting eaten by a dog. And I'm just really excited about my dog being here tonight. So, <sighs> Someone okay. was eating a dog. Yeah, I mean, the dog was eating a human. Yeah, two pit bulls were eating some old British man. 
Oh, my goodness. Watched it over and over for about 30 minutes, and then I couldn't go to sleep, and I've been having nightmares, and it's just been a really rough week, Tony. I wow. apologize. I'm not saying a lot. Jamar, tonight, stop taking your dogs to England. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so much fun. William, any last words? Anything that you're passionate about, perhaps? Anything you want to yell about? Yeah, I mean, I've been uh, still listening to a bunch of True, the uh, rap artist I've been listening to the past month a lot, so I just kind of want to end this with a, a hootie hoo! sweet little dog it's been a uh, four months it's been four months William just sing that I got a sweet little dog yesterday yesterday I got a... start singing bitch it drove me off all night you fucking weirdo looking piece of shit I got a sweet little dog What's the reverb? Day, yesterday, I got a sweet little dog. Yesterday, yesterday. All right. Okay, thank you. William Montgomery, everybody. First off, uh, red band happy Yom Kippur. Um, I'd ask if you fasted today, but I think we all already know the answer to that. Holy shit. <laughs> also, Sean, I just have to see, say you've seen much nicer than Richard Pizping when he was on the show. That's kind of a deep cut. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, if you paid me 500000 to claim Russell Brand raped me, he'd now be up to five accusers. I'm not saying those women were paid off. I'm just saying I can probably figure out a time the two of us were in remotely the same time zone. <laughs> Russell Brand announced he is taking time away from comedy and will reappear in two years as the starting quarterback of the Cleveland Browns. <laughs> also, I just watched uh, Snakes on a Plane, so I'd like to say... Enough is enough. I've had it with these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane. Okay, that's my time. Thank you. William Montgomery. Wow. Look at this iconic moment. This is basically, I mean, you're basically the same. How, how, did, you, how did you know he was wearing green shorts, by the way? Look at this. Sean, so nice This to see is you. incredible. So nice. To yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, Sean, I did this because I know you're getting very famous now. I was wondering if you needed a body double. I, that's why I came out here like this. Seriously, if you need a body I'm double. Gonna stop. Yeah. Yeah, thank oh, you so much. Oh, shit. Ah, Here we go. I'm tired of these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking planet. Wow. This is... Quit looking at my dick, bitch! It is... It is very aggressive. I mean, there is a lot going on. We have so much to talk about right now. William Montgomery, famously the record holder for appearances and interviews on this show, and we are literally seeing more of him than we've ever seen before. For those of you that are just listening to the podcast, let me update you. He is indeed basically shirtless and almost pantless. He has an, a, a, an, a, a, an absolutely inordinate amount of dick on the front. I mean, yeah. there is something in there. 
I, and if y'all were wondering, it is actually very cold backstage, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, bitch. <laughs> Holy shit. And I think we finally found out why he doesn't wipe his ass. It turns out he doesn't have one. It is incredible. William, turn around, show these people your... <laughs> that is... <laughs> wow. If y'all don't think I've been practicing my twerking, you'd be wrong. I mean, check this out. Uh, oh, my God. That is just loose underwear bouncing for those of you thinking you're seeing twerking right now. He is shaking the loose underwear where his ass should be. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I don't know what I'm doing. This now. place Stop. is fucking wild right now. And then, William, let's talk about all that fucking. What is that in the front of your pants? Do you have something in there? Yes, yes. Yeah. Please tell me there, that's like a sock or something. Yeah. Do you have two dicks? <laughs> yeah. It looks like there's looks like like stuff <laughs> going on in there. I, I have to be honest with you. I have two dicks and three testicles. So. Wow. That is incredible. It's, it's like a you coconut know. shrimp or something. What is that? Oh, right. Coconut shrimp or something. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bitch! <laughs> What the <laughs> fuck is that? You have his mouth watering at the thought of a coconut shrimp right now. <laughs> William Montgomery showing off today a perfect body. Next to Sugar Sean, you guys look like a before and after for exercise. <laughs> this is absolutely incredible. You, you, oh my God, what, what is fuck? that? There's so in my stomach. Oh my god. It's trying to get out. This is incredible. Wow. My goodness. You look like you look like the stepdad that turned Sugar Sean into an elite athlete. <laughs> this is absolutely amazing. Your stomach is doing something outrageous. What is that? How do you do that? It's called a front twerk. Joe Liss, started... Joe Liss, please explain to us what you think is going on up here. You look like never been to the gym, the Anvil Nightheart. What? <laughs> I, I almost did a spit take. That was very, very good. Tony liked the, it. Those of you that know Jim, the Anvil Nightheart, will laugh very hard at that. Uh... It's I a, guess nobody knows who he is. He was a wrestler 48 years ago. Yep. He had a beard. Wore sunglasses, giant red beard. Yeah. Not quite as misshapen as you. Yeah. This cool. is incredible, William. Explain to us how you uh, get a body like that. Uh, I do 75 sit-ups a day. I do 200 push-ups a day. I'm doing uh, 200, 200 uh, pull-ups a day. I'm doing... 75 burpees outside. I mean, it's been so hot. I do a bunch of side straddle hops. I'm doing, uh, what else? I'm doing bench press, barbells. Um, what else? I have a Stairmaster. I have a, uh, what was that fucking noise? What the fuck is back there? But yeah, no, Tony, I've been working out super hard. Uh, but yes, yeah, Sean, I mean, if I swear to God, man, if you need some sort of security or anything like that, I would be more than willing to help. Just let me know. Maybe after the show, we can talk about yeah, it. Yeah, for sure. Cool. Can you perhaps put the mic in the mic stand and uh, show us what you would do if uh, someone tried to attack Sugar Sean? Can you give us a little of that fight? Yeah, well, here he is. Joe, do you want to stand up? Okay. Joe. Wait. All right. Don't hurt anybody. Don't touch anybody. Dude, get the fuck out of Whoa. That was... <laughs> wow. Looks like someone may have found a new gig here tonight. Joe, how does it feel? Well, that was scary because I could see Sean on the other side of him, so <laughs> yeah. that was kind of terrifying. <laughs> now... For the folks at home, though, your body is not that bad. We're making jokes. That's a pretty, that's, you know, it's not horrible. Especially those knees. Look at those knees. Yeah. 
Red Band taking shots. Yeah, Red Band. Well, his mom also kind of likes my body because I was in Ohio last week. Yeah. Beating that shit off! I don't give a fuck, Red Band! But yeah, I don't know if y'all have seen snakes on a plane. I saw it for the first time this past week, and that's crazy. They let loose a bunch of snakes on a motherfucker plane. The big red machine showing us today exactly why he has that name. Um, after we found out here today that he has two dicks and three testicles. <laughs> it, it was is a very incredible. expensive surgery I did. <laughs> Oh, that, there you go. There, you do have hemorrhoids. How have your hemorrhoids been? It's looking. They're actually better. Some good Samaritan sent me a box here filled with uh, preparation H wipe. So whoever did that, I genuinely appreciate it. That is true. It. I was at Mitzi's when the package arrived. He literally got a giant box of preparation H wipes. Yeah, I was thinking maybe it was a big box of money or something, but it was fucking asshole wipes. So, yeah. but thank you, whoever did that. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, wow. You, it wasn't really... you. Who keeps on fucking doing that, you dumbass? What are you going to do to that person who keeps yelling? I'm going to fucking meet you outside with Sean, and we're going to start cutting you from the ground off. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Cutting you from the ground up. What does that mean? But yeah, we'll probably kill you, fucking dumbass. <laughs> An absolute monster. He did it again. Another new minute. Repping Sugar Sean O'Malley. Make some noise for the great and powerful William Montgomery, everybody. Let me hear y'all make some noise if you stand at the gate to personally shake hands with and thank every Sky Medallion Gold member. It's a shout out to Delta. Okay, let's keep it going. <laughs> Joe Biden recently made a huge gaffe when he referred to LL Cool J as a talented rapper. <laughs> A lady is suing Disney World after water was forced inside her vagina on a water slide. The good news is she stands to make a lot of money. The bad news is it was Red Band's mom. <laughs> Red Band, what was her old ass doing at Typhoon Lagoon, dude? <laughs> California Senator Dianne Feinstein died two years ago. <laughs> No, but apparently she actually had some dirt on Hillary Clinton. Okay. Okay, that's my time. Thank you. Exactly one minute, by the way. The master of the craft. The undefeated, undisputed champion of Kill Tony. Digging deep into his ear right yeah, now. Yeah, my ear has been itching all night inside why, of my ear hole. Why I don't do you know. think that is? I don't know. I've gotten this uh, new listening device saying, Tony, this is a true story. I have found these people. They just moved into the apartment comp complex where I live. Uh -huh. And I'm pretty sure they're drug dealers. I have been looking out of my window literally eight hours at a time during the day. And I confronted one of the girls the other morning. She had these horrible sores all over her legs. And I go up and I'm like, oh, what, did you just move here? What's going on? And she said, yeah, my... My ex-boyfriend is really abusive. And I was like, oh, are you sure you fucking live here? And she said, you need to leave. Why are you acting so animated talking to me? So it kind of pissed me off that a literal crazy person called my fucking ass out for being crazy. I'm not fucking <laughs> crazy. It took a hit to my confidence when that happened. But wow. other than that, I've been doing all right. For those of you that may have not understood that story... Uh, <laughs> William is uh, the type of neighbor that does indeed look out of his window yes. a lot. He's a kind of like a 75-year-old man trapped in the body of whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> he writes uh, letters to the manager about his neighbors. And he did. That is an actual... That is an actual... Yeah, been we, William has been... A lot of what you hear, believe it or not, is real with William Montgomery. 
uh, including the part about Red Band's mom. Um, yeah, she her, her, her kind of coming. Bleeding. Yeah, okay. but this is real. William did talk to this lady, and then you complained to the uh, manager of your building, and then what happened? I told the manager that they were walking in their apartment with a bunch of bags with TJ Maxx on the bags. I think it was all stolen goods. And then I was thinking afterwards, I'm sure the lady is thinking I'm just some fucking uh, person making fun of TJ Maxx. And I'm not. I love TJ Maxx. But yeah, uh, I'm having second thoughts. I should have deleted the email. I shouldn't have sent it. But what's so funny, Red Band? (laughs) It's Cam Patterson. Bro, Zala just moved there, bro. You don't got to worry about it, dog. You're going to be fine. <laughs> hey, man, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't live over there. I, don't, I, I, I live in a real piece of shit. Yeah, I live okay. Yeah, it's no these scary-looking white people. I'm sure people thought I was talking about some blacks or whatever. They weren't they, they yeah, black? Kidding, but... What, they were Puerto Ricans? Uh, Filipinos, I think. Oh. So... Damn. Uh, you, ha- you look out your window a lot. You're keeping an eye on everything. Have, has there been more suspicious behavior that we haven't heard about? You, we got back. Uh, well, you got back Sunday from the road. Yeah, there's this anorexic girl. I'm always watching her walking around. She is horribly skinny. And the ambulance came to her apartment uh, a couple days ago before we left to uh, to go to Virginia. So I think she might have died. I don't know. <laughs> I was looking at Adam, and they rolled her out with a sheet over her head. So I do think she died. She was really skinny. Very rarely do they, uh, (laughs) very rarely do paramedics um, put a sheet over a living person's head. So I think she died. Extremely, extremely rare. Um, Yeah. Unless the person's just very sleepy. Yeah, it could have been that, but I think she died. Don't want to bother them with the bright lights of the outside. Uh, okay. So what else somebody, is going on, William? Somebody died. The drug dealers. Uh, what else is going on? I finally have some shows, Tony, where I'm, do, I'm doing some rare headlining sets. I Whoa, hope this headlining. Is, and I think I'm now saying it too late. It's Some's coming up in Vegas and then San Diego and Memphis before that. So we'll see how it You're goes. You're going to name the dates of these shows? Are we... I should have written it down on my note card. <laughs> I honestly, fuck. Do you have any idea what month they're in? Yeah, October. I think the uh, the San Diego one is the last weekend of October, and the uh, fucking Vegas one is the week before that. So okay. we'll see. We'll a see if master, I can do more than a twenty minutes. Promoter William Montgomery. Yeah, we'll see if I can do twenty minute over twenty minutes. I've, that's all I've been doing. What's funny? Catch him, fucking catch idiot. him doing the same twenty minute set three times in a row in Vegas, and I'll have a lot of fun. You'll have a lot of fun, and if if you show up, yeah, I'm probably just doing twenty minutes. So people need to get ready for a twenty minute headlining set. Can you give so. them a little taste of like? Can you do one joke that you do in your twenty minute set? Hell no! I get all that damn bone. That's a book I'm working on about the only black lady on the Titanic. Uh, <laughs> see? Yeah. That was good. That shit crushes in theaters. We're having a lot of fun. I kick him out there first to get the party started in these theaters, it's and he been a lot of does. fun. Yeah. Somebody died during uh, oh, David yeah. Lucas's set, or all both. They were having a heart attack. Wild. I think. There was a guy during David Lucas's performance at the uh, Capitol One Hall that um, in the front row who was having a heart attack during David <laughs> Lucas's set, a literal heart attack. During David's set, someone had a heart attack, and it wasn't David Lucas. <laughs> it is unbelievably incredible. Um, what do what, you think, David Jolly? That's real gang violence right there, boy. Yep. <laughs> Lucas out here killing motherfuckers with jokes. No that guy's okay, by the way. William, oh, let me okay. ask you a question. What would you do if two people moved into your apartment building that looked like uh, my esteemed panel here? <laughs> I'd come over there with some cookies that I had freshly baked and, and try to just make friends. Because I might, if I'm being very honest with you, I'd probably be a little bit nervous. It's been nice being around y'all and around y'all. I'm not normally <laughs> around a bunch of black people, but it's been a pleasure. So I'd probably go over there and try to make friends. And just... Is there anything that you're passionate about this week? 
Ooh, what am I not passionate about this week? Uh, I saw the new Saw 10 movie last night. Saw that was 10? a lot of fun. Saw I, 10? Saw 10. I spent $75 on their uh, on the popcorn bucket and Saw cup. So that was exciting. Um, and the popcorn really wasn't all that good. And it was a giant bucket, but I forced myself to eat it. And Tony, I'm really excited, actually, about the fucking bidet up in the green room bathroom right now. Oh, shit. There is a new bidet. There's a new bidet up there, and I feel sorry for the motherfucker that has to clean it because I pissed all over it. And I'm, and I'm not going to stop pissing all over the fucking bidet. So I, I don't know who has to clean that shit up every night, but I'm going to be peeing on it every fucking night. <laughs> You're going to pee on the bidet? <laughs> yes, just on the seat and the bidet, and just all parts of it. It's kind of, I don't know if you've noticed, it's coming out a long ways. It seems like a weird construction on that thing. I don't it know. It is a little misshapen. I'm not exactly sure who is in charge of lining up the bidet with the toilet here in the green room. It's a of, different color, too. It's a, also a different color than the toilet. The toilet is black. The bidet is white. Um, what a, is a bidet? A bidet is... Uh, <laughs> that, that, that's, that's the booty hole cleaner when they shoot the water in your booty hole. That is exactly how a, oh, a yeah. doctor... Oh, you're pissing on that shit, nigga. Because that shit gay. Yeah. <laughs> I love gay people. Cam Patterson, charming as hell. <laughs> You should do a show called Cam and the Gays. <laughs> oh, shit. Had to be hard, hell yeah. Oh, shit. I know. <laughs> what was that? What was that? What was that supposed to be? The beginning of the Cam and the Gays theme song. Exactly. Oh. Here we go. Here's the, here it is. The theme song to Cam and the Gays. Cam and the Gays. And then... <laughs> <laughs> And then it's just Red Band on the show. <laughs> <laughs> William, we love you. You did it again. William Montgomery, everybody. <laughs> Shit, last night in the hotel room with him, I, I was with him, he told me he was 14. So that kind of... <laughs> I feel a little ripped off about that. Uh... I'm 21 years old, but on, on the outside, I'm just a little boy. <laughs> and that's because for me growing up, puberty was a lot like my father, absent. <laughs> and so I get asked about my age all the time. How old are you? How old are you? No, I'm not selling you fentanyl. How old are you? And it gets annoying having to answer this question all the time. So over the years, I've started to have fun with it. And I sometimes tell people that I was never born. <laughs> and that I have been present through all of what has been and what will be. See, I came into existence before the earth and stars, and I will be here on the day they fall because I am ageless. But yet old enough to fuck your mother. Yeah, he said he was fucking 14. I believed it. He looks 14. Okay. <laughs> so I just finished another installment of Where's Waldo, and I'm starting to think he doesn't exist. <laughs> John Fetterman, the Pennsylvania senator who wears sweats and has trouble forming complete sentences, said America isn't sending its best and brightest to Washington. That's like Satan saying people should be nicer to one another. Holy shit. <laughs> 
What's the difference between John Fetterman and Red Band? John Fetterman actually has an excuse. <laughs> he had a stroke, Red Band. That's what that was. <laughs> I recently tried menthol condoms, and I've got to tell y'all, they don't taste like you'd expect, but the fiberglass does tickle my pussy. <laughs> When it comes to Israel and Hamas, I just hope both sides have fun. <laughs> okay, that's my time. Thank you. Wow. 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 Holy shit. What an episode. What a night. You coming in with another fucking absolute monstrosity of a minute. Doing it more than anybody. <laughs> Not easy to do. William Montgomery. It's so nice to be here. I had my first headlining weekend this past weekend in Vegas. It was wonderful. Did 50 fucking minutes. Which 50 I minutes. Think, I didn't think I could do that. And if y'all could tell my voice, I wish I could yell tonight, but I'm probably not because I didn't even have my voice at all yesterday. So I'm going to have to figure that one out, Tony. I think doing three hours worth of comedy is not going to work with my voice. So I might, I don't know what I'm even I'm going to fucking do. And then get stronger. We'll see. And then, Tony, I swear to God, I want to read a text message. So on Saturday night, the second, the, the next two shows, literally at 8, when I'm walking into the club, I receive this text message from my father, Larry. It says, let's, let's tell William tomorrow so he won't worry about it during his shows. I swear to God. And then I immediately text him, what? And then he calls me, my grandfather died, Rusty Vance. So rest in peace, Rusty Vance. Rest in peace, Rusty. But it was a nightmare. <laughs> See, I want to yell so much right now, you fucking pussy. But I literally, it would hurt so bad. Why would you do that? It's Rusty did Vance. He, did he my... die from AIDS? Did he die from AIDS? <laughs> my God, you sound crazier and crazier by the fucking week, dude. Did he die of AIDS? God, your voice. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, it was fun. And then I get up there and I have to have my notebook for these longer sets and I immediately spill a cup of water on my notebook. So it... <laughs> You've done that before. You actually did that at the world famous Chicago theater. You went up uh, before me and there was fucking water all over the floor. Yeah, spilled the water. Why did you just say, wow, and fucking clap, you fucking, you look like a slut, bitch. <laughs> Holy shit. Hey, what? hey, hey, she's got a date with a 15 year old later, okay? With that 14. Year old, yeah. We yeah. hope she's a slut. Yeah. Yeah. We hope. We're going to get a follow-up to that date, and you'll be a legend. If you, if you fuck him, I will tell you this. If you fuck him, and I'm serious, if you fuck him, you have a ticket to kill Tony for the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a she genius. Let's go. <laughs> if a, you don't, no she will. So, if, yeah. you know... <laughs> And I want to be there. I want to be allowed to watch. I yeah. have that has to be a part of the contract. I have to watch him fuck your fucking nasty looking ass, bitch. Oh my Jesus. goodness, William, you're Jesus. being. Very I'm real. sorry, Red very... Band pissed me off earlier. It's my fucking dead grandfather. And let me try out some of the crowd work I did with using that information. Uh, yeah, Rusty Vance, my grandfather died. Can anybody guess how old he was when? Can anybody guess how old Rusty was? If somebody... If somebody guesses that we could say when I hear the right... Shit, I don't know how old his old ass was. <laughs> So that's that guy. That was about ten minutes worth of crowd work yeah. doing that. <laughs> that's how you did fifty did minutes. Or, yes, yes, I did fifteen to twenty of that, just standing, staring forward, hearing all these numbers. That is so funny. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, a little fun fact about William is that um, you know a little behind the scenes, which I think is good for the people that have been following you for half a decade on this show. A very interesting thing is while he writes so many unbelievable minutes on the show, he has a slight problem interjecting those minutes into his longer, normal, standalone stand-up set. He gets his balls busted a lot about doing, you know, the same 15, the same 20, whatever, um, even though he has this plethora. More than anyone publicly in the world 
has blatantly jokes that work. He puts them out all the time on the show. But can you explain to the people why you have a little bit of trouble? I know it's a serious subject. I don't know. I mean, I get so, when I'm opening up for you, Tony, I get so in my head. You put so much pressure on me. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to fucking explode most of the time. So I'm like, okay, I have to keep on doing <laughs> these what? jokes. Tony, I did say one joke that you told me not to say before, but I had to in Vegas. What was what? the one? Uh, Chris Angel's greatest trick is how he made himself disappear. <laughs> yeah, it's so stupid. And I That's did a couple stupid. Rick Moranis jokes, but no, I was interjecting a lot more. Tony hates the Rick Moranis jokes. Yeah. I think they're wonderful. Yeah. Oh, you mean, that, you mean the guy that's been a recluse for 25 years? You think that... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I don't know what it is. There's like... and I've, I've seen you for years now, man. There's just like a darkness that around you that like, it makes me truly uncomfortable. Like, I feel like... You have well, at least there's something around my fucking ass. I don't you even have, know what to think when I look at dude, your fucking ass. You have, don't come at me. <laughs> you have. I, 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 I said this shit for five fucking years, dumbass. I, I said I wasn't gonna fucking scream. Don't come at me like that. You got you, nothing I want around you to your scream. stupid fucking ass. I want you to say you have like look at me energy. You have a screaming look Ooh, at thanks. me. Thanks. Yeah, it's a terrifying. Cool. I take that as a compliment, dumbass. Dude. What the fuck? When it eventually Don't come comes at me out, like that, you fucking idiot. When it eventually comes out that this guy has murdered a lot of people, a lot of we people. are all We're culpable. all not going to be surprised. <laughs> not surprised. Dude, shut the fuck up, <laughs> dumbass. I Did promised it? I wouldn't fucking yell tonight, but I can't help it when I look in your stupid fucking eyes, dude. My eyes? I have a dark energy on my fucking ass. You got nothing, This is dark. Dumbass. This is very dark. This and is I very swear dark. I'm, oh, what? This is dark. <laughs> this is dark. <laughs> this is dark. Don't come at me, motherfucker. What do you mean I got a dark energy? My fucking grandfather died a couple days ago, dumbass. Uh, and I've been playing with the Ouija board, so maybe that's why my energy's dark. <laughs> there you go. I have like four spirits in my apartment, so sorry for... Yeah. You, coming you, after your ass, I get nervous. I haven't slept in three fucking you days. You hugged me before this. Huh? You hugged me before this. Yeah, I put a curse on your Toma. <laughs> <laughs> you can't hug somebody who's you hugged me in the dark <laughs> arms. You hugged me. Yeah, well, good luck trying to pee later. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand you, man. <laughs> well, I don't understand you either, so we're in the same boat then. <laughs> Should we hug? Yeah, yeah do you want to hug... Wow, this is a very special moment, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness. Now if Israel and Palestine could just do that. Yeah. <laughs> Paraglide. No. That's the reason his grandfather died. Wait, what? Jesus Red Christ. Man. Did you hear that, William? What did he say? He, he said, said, you're going to be on the secret show. <laughs> 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 you win the big prize right down the street. The ceiling's too high. Everyone doesn't do well there. <laughs> it's not built for comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky you and White Webster. <laughs> oh. Wait, so what did you say, Red Man? <laughs> <laughs> I said you won a spot on the secret show. <laughs> Congratulations. No, he said that the hug thing, and then he goes, uh, for no reason, he goes, uh, that's the reason your grandfather died. What's the reason, Red Man? I don't know. AIDS! See, it doesn't work out how you think it's going to work out sometimes, doesn't it? You were thinking people are going to laugh at AIDS. Nobody fucking laughed, dumbass. My fucking grandfather died. Why do you fucking... Oh, I'm sorry about your grandfather, honestly. Thank you. Like, with, like, the medicine recently in the AIDS community that would help, have helped him. And he, uh... So doubling down on the AIDS shit, you dumbass. <laughs> Buh. Buh. You know what? Secret Show Thursday? 
I think Red Band was doing those jokes so that he could have a moment of silence for your grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> William, you know, I mean, it, it's fucking crazy, but, uh, but I'll say it. Uh, a lot of these times, and I mentioned this to Red Band after uh, Heath Cordes' performance, I go, it's so weird how so often, I mean, statistically, because I remember specifically... Um, Oh, God, who the fuck was it? It was, um, oh, Aaron Belial. We kept pulling out of the bucket all night long. And then the final bucket pull, I go, the final bucket pull of the night, we have enough time for one more. It was him. And all these times, you have to go up after fucking Yeah, I'm chaos. horrified. It's I was so, horrified back there. so <laughs> interesting. And meanwhile, you blast through, you make it look easy, and you've done it more than anybody, and you fucking did it again tonight, fresh off of the oh, death you, of your sir. grandfather. Let's see how loud this place can get for literally the goat of the show, William, William Montgomery, Montgomery, everybody. <laughs> This, Tony. <laughs> What's black and white and red all over? A bloody race war. <laughs> Riddle me this, Tony. Who can count to seven unless he's talking about how many grandchildren he has? Joe Biden. Riddle me this, Tony. Why is Red Band's mom's pussy so big? She's a whore. <laughs> She's a whore. Okay, next riddle. Who's the least scary villain in all of Gotham City? Catwoman. Great Scott, Batman. How will you ever manage? Catwoman, that's not a villain, that's a hoarder. What's next, plant mom? <laughs> Too late, there's already poison ivy and don't get me started on, oh shit, that's not a rash, that can be cleared up in 48 to 72 hours. <laughs> Time, tune in next week when Batman faces a pansexual makeup influencer. <laughs> Meanwhile, you got Penguin Stumpy ass, he makes Red Band look like Bruce Wayne. And then Two-Face, God, you know what would be even more frightening? Matthew Perry in a hot tub. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. No wonder Batman always wins. Okay, that's my time. Yeah! Wow. A minute, 40 seconds of thunder and lightning from the man who has done it the most all time, the great the powerful William Montgomery, fresh off of five sold out shows in San Diego, fresh off of a, a huge, huge uh, month, another month of successful cameos. Uh, Tony, really, you're one of the top earners on Cameo. Yes, William. Tony, the penguin is hurt. The penguin is hurt? The penguin is hurt. <laughs> The penguin is hurt. The penguin is very injured right now, Tony. It's almost Halloween. I'm worried about the penguin. <laughs> oh, what, what happened with the penguin? We don't really know what happened. He and Catwoman got in a fight. Uh, <laughs> no, he's really hurt, though, so. What? The penguin fell. I think he fell down some stairs or he got thrown down some stairs. Something with Catwoman. Penguin's super hurt. We're all worried about him, so send up a prayer for Mr. Penguin when you get a chance. He's super hurt. I mean, he was a very old friend of mine, and yeah, he got like thrown down the stairs or something with stairs a couple days ago with cat wow. women, so. Oh my goodness gracious. Is that some CIA activation shit or something? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> I love it. So William, what else is going on? Oh my gosh, I mean, after the Penguin, got so hurt. I mean, we pretty much grew up together, Tony, so it's been really hard. Something about he and the Catwoman, something about stairs. Um, he's been super fucking hurt. Why did you just shake your head and disgust at that, sir? <laughs> so, okay, so the penguin is hurt. I got that part. Penguin's hurt, so... What else is going on, William? Penguins hurt. Okay. We're all looking for Catwoman. Um, yep. <laughs> I got that. 
No, but nothing else really, Tony. Yeah, I've, I've uh, learned on the longer shows I can't yell as much, which is a nightmare because I've gotten so used to yelling I can't yell as much. So I've started actually whispering some oh. of the punchlines. Uh, oh, wow. It seems like the crowd is in a ruckus about this. This is like Mike Tyson doing yeah, karate or something like that. I, uh, okay, I'll prove my point. It's actually much better, I think. Okay, here he is, trying something new. Give I, uh, him a chance. This is like Francis Naganu boxing. You might be surprised. Here we go. I like it when my mom goes out of town because I get to sleep on her side of the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. See, it's actually, Whoa. Much, it's actually much better. Wow. wow. Okay. Paul Walker, more like Paul Crasher. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. I like it. I heard the reason Paul Walker died was because a director forgot to say cut. Oh, my goodness <laughs> gracious. See, it's actually much better. Yeah, luckily it's been uh, working out. Wow, that's really, really interesting. Cool. So no more yelling. You get no to... more yelling. I'm done. I'm How's really your grandfather? Good. Uh, my dead grandfather that we covered last week. Why would you fucking bring that up, dumbass? <laughs> fucking almost Halloween, you piece of fucking shit. Why would you? The penguins hurt. <laughs> okay, I got a little laugh. Yeah, I was worried about the penguin talk. And then, yeah, big time. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> okay. uh, but yeah, yeah, no, been whispering stuff. And this actually, Tony, uh -huh. is a very exciting episode i i literally have a a brand new actual sponsorship i'm super excited to tell y'all i think i had mentioned on the show before that i don't wipe my butthole anymore i started doing this method where i get in the i take a big shit i get in the shower doo-doo gets all clogged up in the fucking drains there's hair down in the drains now, a little fun fact is that while so much of the fun stuff that he talks about is silly and wild, this is actually true. <laughs> he famously does not wipe his ass. This is a thing that his parents have talked about to me. His girlfriend has talked with everyone about how she finds little clumps of shit in the shower drain. It was because ripping apart time, my relationship. Every time that he shits... Instead of wiping like a fucking human being, he literally has to get into the entire shower and wipe his hand back and forth along his asshole and let the little shit pieces go down the drain. I know it is absolutely shocking to find out that one of your favorite comedians I kind of like sticking my fingers in my asshole. I Tony. think that that's, is what everybody would assume. That's a part of that. That yeah. is absolutely yeah. true. Don't let these betas emasculate you, baby. You're an alpha male. None of us wipe. <laughs> well, little hobo. I mean, your You're asshole wrong. is made of hay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us more. What is this sponsorship? Is this so real? So basically, yes. This is. I'm dead fucking serious right now. The penguin stuff. I was lying about. I was thinking that was going to be much funnier, but it was a giant fucking Halloween disaster. But no, my new sponsorship is dude wipes, okay? I Whoa. Have, yeah! We love dude wipes. I can now wipe my butthole in the shower. I'm wiping... I use the dude wipes in the shower. I should Wait be using second. them. Wait, that would not be how you use the dude wipes. You wouldn't have to get in the shower to use a wet I can wipe. Wash, I can wash my hair at the same time. I'm cleaning out my asshole, Tony. You know I'm a big it's time saver. I literally have been doing that. I, really? TT and brush my teeth at the same time. I shed. They uh, dissolve in the shower, though. They're safe the for your drinks. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even fucking understand your stupid. Well, well, why you guys? We got it. We got it. So fucking idiot. So I see that there's. What are you? What? Are, what are all these? Boxes? So basically, I'm very too excited to announce. I'm the newest fucking spokesperson for dude wipes. Wow. Who the yeah! fuck wants some dude wipes? Oh my goodness. The place is in chaos. Who wants to fucking do it? Get your hands in the air! He is asking that everybody... Whoa, really? <laughs> Maybe put a little arc into it, will you? There you go. Dude wipes! Okay. Dude wipes! There you go. There's dude wipes coming. Put your hands in front of your face. The penguin is injured!
Who was that? Yeah! Wow, he has literally got boxes of dude wipes. You get a dude wipe. You, you get, get a dude, dude wipe. Wow, this is unbelievable. You get some dude wipe. Dude wipe. You get some. Oh my God, William, Whoa. put a little, skinny, put a little, dumbass. William, put a little you arc. So William, Whoa. William, a little more arc. Whoa. There you go. There you go. A little arc under it. I'm working on it. Wow, there are dude yeah. wipes flying through the air. Remember that any injuries from the dude wipes are not responsibility of no Joe gonna... Rogan, Kill Tony, Death Squad, Golden Pony Productions. Wow. Talking to monkey. happy people. We have a Yoni, are you getting this? Whoa, are oh, you getting this? Oh my God. <laughs> William. Oh my goodness. Whoa, this guy. This is absolutely incredible. What a moment in Kill Tony history as the those crowd is excited about getting dude wipes. Dude wipes! Tony, those are the best dude wipes too. Men's I hope chill. This never these, ends. these really are an unbelievable product. William, you got some over there. Up there on that. Those guys want some dude wipes. Alright. There are dude wipes absolutely everywhere. People from the balcony dude want it. They're paying me a thousand dollar for each one of Wait, these I somebody, throw out. Somebody dude up in the balcony. Wipes! William, somebody up in the balcony. Wait, 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 the dude balcony. Wipes. Dude wipes! Balcony. Balcony. <laughs> 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 it's just a bus. disaster. There's so many people with bloody faces. That corner over there, look at that. I'm getting good, Tony. Dude Who else wipes? Wipes! Whoa, whoa, maybe maybe keep the lights yeah. on, Kino. There you go. Dude we have 20 boxes wipes. to go through. <laughs> Imagine how much money he must be making right now. Indeed, dude he wants a dude wife. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Yes! This is absolutely incredible. A historical yes! moment in this show. Incredible! So many people just got dude wipes. There are so many boxes still behind you. I guess yeah. uh, I, I'm getting word that anybody that didn't get a package of dude wipes is going to get some on the way out. How interesting yeah! is that? My it's little true. earpiece. Mid chill, the best one. Brought to you by Dude Wipes, which is an absolutely unbelievable product. Everybody uses them. Use offer code Duncan. <laughs> and uh, congratulations. You know, of all the sponsorships that you've said that you've had before, this one actually seems real. It's a very real win. Get your dude wipes. I'm wiping my asshole now. I'm proud of it. I used to be embarrassed about wiping my fucking asshole, but now I'm not embarrassed anymore because it's not wipes for like a pussy or something. It's for dudes' buttholes. I I'm, swear to God, I'm not putting some fucking woman pussy fucking thing near my butthole. It's only it's only dude wipes. So. Yeah. In honor of. Catwoman, I'm gonna let the cat out of the bag and just say it. I mean, the people over at Dude Wipes, I do believe the owner or something important, very high up, literally heard about you not wiping your ass. And literally, it is a true, real partnership with William Montgomery. So <laughs> yeah! support Dude Wipes, an unbelievably great product that loves William and loves Kill Tony. And congratulations, that's a really Way big to deal to Very have an actual deal. sponsor when your job is yelling and whispering Coming for a living. Coming up with uh, penguin stuff. That was a disaster, the yeah. Mr. Penguin yeah. thing. Yeah, usually when somebody uh, tries something that doesn't work, they don't repeat it 15 more times, so it's <laughs> part of your brilliance. And look at you, I mean, you're sponsored by Dude Wipes, so who am I to judge you? I know, no fucking women pussy shows going right. near my asshole. Absolutely. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, how about one more time for the legend, William Montgomery, everybody.